there's now a bipartisan push to designate Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. Some in the Senate are even comparing Russian President Vladimir Putin to Hitler. Connor Hansen has more on the proposal. This photograph is not just outrageous, it is deeply scary. A bipartisan push on Capitol Hill to designate Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. It comes just days after Russian President Vladimir Putin signed an agreement with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The pact means the two nations would come to each other's aid if one is attacked. Senator Lindsey Graham went as far as comparing Putin to Hitler in the 1930s, warning people not to underestimate the Russian president. I'm telling you right now, if you let Putin get away with this latest misadventure, you will not age well in history. If the bipartisan bill passes, Russia would join a list of other countries like North Korea, Iran, Syria, and Cuba. State sponsors of terror are designated for repeatedly providing support for acts of international terrorism. U.S. officials worry Russia will help bolster North Korea's nuclear capabilities. If we made Russia state sponsor terrorism, it would change the momentum in Ukraine overnight. This comes at the same time lawmakers renew their concerns over Russia developing a nuclear anti-satellite weapon. This we weapon, if detonated in low Earth orbit, uh, would decimate all satellites in low Earth orbit, uh, and it would likely render the entire orbit unusable for up to a year. Following the pact between Russia and North Korea, South Korea signaled it could start sending arms to Ukraine, a major shift in policy. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News. We're also getting more information about Iran's growing nuclear weapons program. We told you about it yesterday. A leaked draft document shows Iran plans to triple the production at its most secretive nuclear weapons site. U.S. and Israeli intelligence agencies have new alarming information about a computer modeling program that Iran has reportedly acquired. U.S. officials say that it could be used to help the regime build a nuclear weapons arsenal and build it faster. Iran continues to expand its nuclear program in ways that have no credible, peaceful purpose. We remain deeply concerned with Iran's nuclear activities and will continue to vigilantly monitor them. Iran must cooperate with the IEA without further delay. Once Iran has enough enriched uranium to build a bomb, the Biden administration estimates at the breakout time to be about 18 months, while Israel assesses it at a little as, as little as one year.